Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I pray you're rejoicing and you are glad in it. Thank you for joining us here on the New Horizons Church Fresh Fire Daily Prayer Devotional as we're praying about hope in hard times. That's right. God gives us hope in these hard times in which we live in. And today is day number nine, day number nine of us praying about and for hope in hard times. We're going to be praying from Psalm 94 and verse 19, Psalm 94 and verse 19 from the New Living Translation of the Word of God. Here's what the Word of God says. When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Amen. The psalmist records his testimony and he says, when doubts filled my mind, your hope gave me renewed, excuse me, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Amen. As we go to the Lord today, we're going to pray for two things according to Psalm 94 and verse 19. Number one, we are going to pray that God will replace our doubts with hope, that he'll replace our doubts with hope. And then secondly, we want to pray and ask God to replace our doubts with cheer, our doubts with praise of his holy name. Come on, let's go to the Lord in prayer today. Father, in the name of Jesus, that name that is above every name, Lord, we come in that powerful and precious name of Jesus. We come boldly before your throne of grace, O oh God, that we might find grace and favor and help in our time of need. God, we come obedient to your word in Jeremiah 33 and 3, where you tell us, you command us to call upon you, and you promise to show us great and mighty things. Lord, we thank you for the power of prayer and the, the potential that is contained in prayer. We thank you for the privilege that prayer is in the life of each and every one of your children. Lord, we thank you that we can call upon you, Lord, and you hear us. And if you hear us, we know that you will answer us when we pray according to your will. So, Lord God, we pray according to Psalm 94 and 19 today for hope in hard times. God, we pray today that as we go through this life and we have trouble, and we go through trials and tribulations, that sometimes, Lord God, we find our minds are full of worry and anxious thoughts. We find that our minds, God, are filled with doubt. And we pray as the psalmist prayed today, that when doubts fill our mind, that your comfort, O oh God, would give us renewed hope. I pray, Lord God, for someone today, because of what they are going through, because of what they are facing, doubt has filled their mind. I pray, Lord God, that your comfort, that only you can give, would give them renewed hope in who you are. I pray for some parent, Lord, that's been going through a tr troubling situation with their children, that they too have become doubtful, Lord, about what will take place, what will happen. And I pray, Lord God, that you would comfort them and give them renewed hope as it relates to their children, that you will take care of them. Lord, I pray for somebody who's been to the doctor and has gotten a bad doctor's report, Lord, that they've gotten a diagnosis, Lord, that has called their minds to be filled with doubt. I pray, Lord God, that you would comfort them even right now in the name of Jesus and that you would give them renewed hope. I pray for somebody, oh God, today that is going through something on their job, Lord, something in their career, something in their place of employment, God, that has caused them to doubt that their future is going to work out financially, that they're going to be able to take care of their family, Lord, and anxious thoughts have set in. And I pray, oh God, that you, by your power to comfort, would give them renewed hope in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for someone who has gone through something, Lord, devastating in their life and has caused them to begin to doubt you as Lord, God. I pray you would come alongside of them right now in the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, that you would post up angels around them, that you would comfort them, Lord, and give them renewed hope in your power to resurrect them out of that situation in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Lord God, that not only would you give us renewed hope, but you would give us cheer, that you would give us an ability to praise your name through the problems that we go through. Thank you, Lord, for hope in Jesus Christ. Thank you for a way out and a way up and a way through and a way over, God. And as we come out up, over, and through, we come out praising you and magnifying your glorious name. But Lord God, when doubts filled our mind, 
God, you gave us a praise on the inside when what was going on on the outside tried to trouble us on the inside. You gave us a praise deep down in our hearts, oh God, where we can say thank you. We can say hallelujah. We can say praise the name of the Lord, even as we're waiting on deliverance, even as we're waiting on healing, even as we're waiting on the doors to be opened and the ways to be made, God. We have a praise down on the inside because you have comforted us and you've given us a new hope, a renewed hope. You've given us a praise, God. And if we had 10,000 tongues, oh God, we would not be able to praise you enough. So we just say, thank you, Jesus. We say, thank you, Holy Spirit. We say, thank you, Father, for renewed hope in you. And I thank you for this hope that shows up even in hard times. I praise you and glorify you this day for your word, God, that reminds us that when our minds are filled with doubt, you come along and comfort us and give us renewed hope and cheer in Jesus' name. It's in his name we pray. Amen and amen. Again, thank you so much for joining us on day number nine of us praying about hope in hard times. We prayed from Psalm 94 and 19 from the New Living Translation of the Word of God that says, when doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Hit the notification button. That way when these new prayers come out each and every day, you can get the notification on your phone. And then if these are a blessing to you, please share it with one of your neighbors, your friends, your family members who may be going through a hard time. Let them know that there is hope for them in God, even in these hard times. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.